For Cameron Patterson, a young British scholar who spent his childhood living and studying in China, nothing more vividly than trains attests to the rapid progress China has made over the past decade. Before the advent of high-speed rail and bullet trains, getting around such a vast country like China was never easy, recalled Patterson, a PhD candidate in space and planetary physics at Lancaster University. So, in terms of how much China has changed in the in the past few years since I was living there, which is all about trains in China, you'd you'd have to take what they used to call green skin trains. You know, they're kind of wrapped in these sort of green carriages, much slower to sort of get around. It's fine to have a slowish train in the UK where you don't have that far to go, but、uh, when you're in a country as big as China, you really need faster trains to get around. Patterson recalled that when his family relocated from Liaoyingang, eastern China, to Zhenjiang in southern China. The trip on the old type green skin train took them one and a half excruciating days. Now, with bullet trains and an unmatched high-speed rail network, travel has become much easier in China. Moving from eastern China in Jiangsu Province all the way down to Guangdong Province in the south, it was a nightmarish journey of of thirty five hours in like a shaky little sleeper carriage. But I mean, now you could probably do it in maybe half a day or a few hours or something. You know, it's it's pretty ridiculous. The changes that the Guardia have brought to China is absolutely、uh, mental to think that what you can do with it. Though his primary schoolmistress in his Cardiff hometown was shocked by the decision of Patterson's father, an English teacher, to whisk the boy away to China at the age of eight in 2003, Patterson said few would doubt that decision changed his life in a big way. And、uh, in every single city that I went to,、uh, my parents were adamant that. They didn't want me to go to an international school,、uh, but they wanted me to go to just a regular Chinese school to be able to be in a class with other Chinese students and really immerse myself in the language and the culture. They thought of that as, as a good way to be able to pick up the language a lot faster. After his return from China, Patterson became a local celebrity in the UK in 2015 with his impeccable Chinese, where he placed a first in Europe and a second in the global final of Chinese Bridge, a worldwide Chinese proficiency competition for non-Chinese university students. With his bilingual skills and familiarity with the cultural nuances of China and Britain, Patterson has considered it his calling to deepen the understanding between the two peoples. Of course, I, I would be very happy to act as a bridge between the UK and China culturally, and, and you know, helping with cooperation. It's always been a big, big part of my life. I've always tried to engage myself in different activities where I can act as a sort of ambassador for the UK and China and friendly relations between our two countries in many different routes. Over the years, Patterson played a succession of roles that attest to his steadfast maturity as a culture ambassador and a volunteer in Lancaster University's Confucius Institute. You know, it's an excellent hub where we can go to to learn about China, and the Chinese students who go there can also learn about us. We'd have groups of students from all over China coming to the UK, where we take them all to different cities to see the history and culture that we have here in Britain, and also teach them English at the same time. And as part of the mutual benefits of this,、uh, those schools also welcomed a few of our students to go out to China as well to to do basically the same thing and to experience. Because you know these things only work if it's two ways. You need. To have cultural communication between both parties for it to work. That's the point. Because you know, in the world we live in nowadays, I think it's really important that we have people that understand both the UK and China to help get past the different, you know, differences that our countries have.